Neptune, its layers and atmosphere. Very similar to Uranus. Uh, <coughs> the layering of Neptune is identical to Uranus. However, the color of Neptune is a much richer and brighter blue color because of the 3% methane in its atmosphere compared to Uranus's only 2%. So it's even more blue and brighter. Also, Neptune's atmospheric activity is much more dramatic than Uranus. I, that's why I like the Neptune's color a little more, more activity going on. It has a feature called the Great Dark Spot, about the size of Earth, which has now disappeared. The atmosphere of Neptune is more active because its core generates and radiates more heat. Okay? It gets less energy from the sun because it's farther away, but it, it has its own internal energy generation. It's rings and moons. Neptune has five rings which are made of very dark material, most likely organic compounds similar to the rings of Uranus. So very, very dark. And it has five rings. However, the Neptunian rings contain a large quantity of dust. In this respect, they are similar to the rings of Jupiter in which the dust fraction is also very high. Remember the rings of Uranus, we said, experienced no forward scattering. That means they were large. But these ones, the rings are smaller. The, the dust particles are smaller. So they're more like Jupiter. Uh, so it says the dust fraction is also very high and very different from the rings of Saturn and Uranus, which contain little dust. So in this case, Uranus and Saturn's rings are more similar. They contain more icy particle, more rocky particles versus Neptune and Jupiter is more like tiny, small dust particles, okay? So that's something weird. Neptune and Jupiter's rings are similar, the two outer gas giants, and then the two inner ones are similar. They're more icy and rocky, Uranus and uh, Saturn. The rings are named it's all associated with people that had to do with the discovery of Neptune. Galley, Le Verrier, Lossel, Arago. Lossel and Arago is like one ring. So one, two, three. No, actually, no. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So Galley, Le Verrier, Lossel, Arago, and Adams, John Adams, who discovered it. The Adams ring has three main arcs in it called the Liberty, Equality, and Fraternity. Sounds like a sorority or fraternity name. Liberty, Equality, and Fraternity. By far, Neptune's biggest and most famous moon is Triton. Okay? Notice that a lot of the biggest moons of the planets, they start with T. Titan, Titania, and then you got here Triton. They're all T's. It is the largest moon in the solar system which orbits its planet in a retrograde motion. It goes, its, it goes in, around its planet in opposite way of the other moons. So it's, very, it's retrograde. The theory behind this is that maybe Triton was a captured dwarf planet. So it used to be one of like the planets like Pluto but it got captured by the gravity of Neptune. Also, Triton is the coldest spot in the solar system with an average temperature colder than even Pluto. It is believed to still contain active volcanism of frozen methane. Nereid is the farthest moon of, of uh, Neptune, and it is famous for having the most eccentric orbit of all the moons in the solar system. So what were they famous for? Triton, famous for going retrograde. Nereid is famous for having a very, very eccentric orbit, very elliptical orbit around its planet. Eccentricity of 